there is a particular investment na bagay sa'yo based on your risk appetite. If you're the type of person na conservative, bagay sa'yo ang following investments. Bonds, and deposit, and Pag-ibig MP2. Pag-ibig MP2 is a savings program brought to you by Pag-ibig. So, ang interest ngayon is around 7%. So, how does it work? They will lend the money to those people who want to get a loan for their house, and then they will charge bigger interest, and a portion of that goes to you because nga, ikaw yung nag-invest doon sa Pag-ibig MP2. It's like time deposit. When you go to the bank, when you deposit your money, your money will be given or will be loaned to different business people para palaguin ang kanilang mga negosyo or they can purchase cars or they can purchase houses and then they will pay the bank with interest and a portion of that will be given to you as well. Yung bonds naman is ikaw ang nagpautang and since ikaw ang nagpautang, your principal should be returned to you with interest. You will be lending your money to a government institution and what they're going to do is to use that money pulled from the public for them to make the Philippines a better place. For the corporate bonds naman, what they're going to do is to use that funds to expand their business. It may be through building manufacturing plants or expanding their operations from one place to another. What if you are aggressive naman? You can try out cryptocurrency, which you need a crypto exchange account for that. Personally, what I'm using is Binance. Business, alam naman natin guys, the statistics of business is really difficult. Try to imagine for the first 10 business that exist within five years, only one will survive. And we also have real estate. Maconsider natin as aggressive ang real estate because of one major reason, which is the capitalization. And if you're going to say, yes, sir, that's true. However, I can pay the equity in like longer period of time through monthly payments. Yes, totoo. But what if during your six month, all of a sudden you lose your job? Therefore, you can no longer make the payments. Ano mangyayari doon? Ma-default yung payment mo. And hindi pa ma-apply sa iyo yung Maceda law kasi nga hindi pa 2 years yung payments mo. So yung capital mo mawala. It's advantageous for the seller because they're going to get the money and then they can sell that particular asset na binili mo na sana to another person. Now what if you are in the middle nga? Moderate ka. You prefer to make money through capital gains and cash flow. So ang bagay sa iyo are the following things. REITs, Real Estate Investment Trust which is a public real estate company, you will not be the ones managing the property. Yung management na nila ang mamanage nun. All you have to do is invest your money there through the stock market and you will get a dividend every single quarter. Kasi yung REITs, by law, they are required to give out 90% of their net income to the investors. Then we also have dividend stocks. Tulad ng mga established company like Globe, LDT, SM, Meralco, these companies are super established already to a point that they have so much cash so they will just give it to their shareholders as well. And lastly, we have the rental properties. You buy a condo, you buy a house and lot with the intention that you're going to have it leased out. Which investment is the best for you?